Good morning. So I'm gonna use the Twilight ColourPop today. And uh, I'm a day behind again with vlogs. I didn't vlog yesterday. <sighs> I'm trying to get back into the, the swing of things here. But yeah, I'm gonna use the Twilight ColourPop today because I've been excited to use it and I have a hair appointment tonight. She was able to bump me up. Thank goodness. So, yay. I'm trying to turn my light on right now. And I have this, let me turn this on. There we go. That'll do for now, I think, for the tutorial. This all settles at the bottom. <laughs> And then you gotta shake it again. Let's open this up. Um, I think I'm gonna do my face makeup first and then I'll go in with the, the rest, but ooh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I mean, there's a certain shades that I do wanna use. Like I wanna use Edward right here and I wanna use Immortal because they're, you know, glitter, which is what I like. I think I'm gonna kind of go for a blue, a blue look. Yeah, I can pick, I already know what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm wearing blue. So I'm actually gonna do my face makeup first and then I'll come back and we'll kind of, we'll finish the job here. All right, so I just did my base makeup and I'm gonna do some blush right now. So I'm just gonna use this like Hello Kitty one from ColourPop. It's the Hello Kitty and Friends at Frost Sight. It's kind of got a little bit of like shimmer in it but it's just like a light pink. So I'm gonna do some of that. I'm trying to keep like a very, you know, pale base. Not a lot going on because I feel like that's very vampire-like, you know? So there's the blush. Don't know if you can see that at all. Let's get started here. So, oh, you know what? Let's do highlighter. Actually, let's do highlighter. So I've got the two right here, vampire skin and meadow. Yeah, um, kind of hard to see. Let me take them both out. I'm, I'm definitely going to use the vampire skin one for sure because you can kind of tell that this one has more of that like pinky, you know, and then this is just like a true here. Let me do a swatch for you. Ooh, that's really pretty. These are really, really wet feeling like you see that or no? Yeah, there you go. So this is kind of like got that pinky shift. So I'm gonna use this one, but they're really soft. Cause like, look at when you, you can see where I swatched them. They kind of almost are like bouncy sort of feeling. Like you can see the indentation. I recently purchased <laughs> a uh, ancient Egypt themed brush set. <laughs> so I will be using a lot of that. Cause I didn't unpack, I haven't unpacked my stuff yet. Have it unpacked it, have it unpacked. So here, let me try to get some off here. It's definitely like kind of chunky, chunky glittery. Like I can see on the brush that it's just kind of like glitter, but not really in a gray. I don't think I like that very much. I'm gonna be honest. I think this would probably work better as just using it as like an eyeshadow because it's really like sort of chunky. You know, the one that I like is the Fenty Beauty one because it's like very light, not so chunky, like it's finer glitter. And I just don't, yeah, I don't think I like that. It's really, really chunky. So, yeek. Oh, I'm like, how do I get this off? Okay, all right, star of the show time. Let's get into the uh, the star of the show here. So, palette. So, I kind of have an idea, actually, surprisingly. I want to use this one right here, the Say It Out Loud, but, because I, because here's what I want to do. This is my, this is like the roadmap here, okay? So, I really want to use this shade in the crease, okay? Because I want to do this shade on the lid and then layer it with this. However, I don't know if I want to use this one in the crease or like first as like, you know, or if I want to use this one in the crease uh, first. I think I'm going to go in first with an unconditionally. So this one right here and we're going to go into the crease with that one. And I don't have like a base really. I feel like that's just the color that it's you're meant to really use as a transition. It's got good pigment. You can just barely kind of see it, you know. There's a little bit of 
kick up from this shade. So I'm taking this all the way, all the way over and pretty high up. I think I'm gonna actually go in with Say It Out Loud. I, I think I, I just don't, I'm not crazy about that shade, honestly. So I'm gonna take Say It Out Loud and just go over that. Oh God, it's looking, this is, this is going downhill fast. Okay. Hey, I don't know how I feel about that one, but, <laughs> but uh, the show must go on. So, okay, this is the real shade I want to use, so I'm going to be a little bit more heavy-handed with this one. So, taking this one called Irrevocably, Irrevocably, only probably about, you know, a third of the way over, halfway over, I would say. Oh, this has really good pigment. Yeah, I'm just going to take that, and then on the outer corner... Like so. That's really, yeah, this is really pretty. And then I'm just gonna kind of flick it so it's kind of got a, you know, that fanned out, sort of cat eye diffused look. So there's that. So now I wanna go onto the lid with this shade right here called the Cullens. All right, so I'm gonna take that with a flat brush and take some on my brush like this and then I'm gonna spray this so I don't have a lot of fallout and it also just adheres better. And I'm gonna take that, you know, I'm gonna first start probably like on the outer corner. Eh, I'll probably just take it all over the lid actually. This might be better applied with a finger. Not as vibrant as I thought it would be. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like this shade. I think you might have to just kind of keep uh, layering it and building it up, and then I think it will come out cute. All right, now I am gonna take some glitter glue. Let's see. I should have some. Here it is. So I'm gonna do the NYX glitter glue and just put some on like a flat brush, and I'm just gonna put that like all over the the lid anywhere where I am planning on putting this glitter and it might take up some of the eyeshadow and you're just gonna have to live with that one pretty much. I'm putting a teeny little dot like really not that much at all. Actually I might have even used too much. So here we go. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Immortal. I've been wanting to use this shade ever since I opened up this palette honestly. There it is. Okay, here we go. I think this is where the magic starts to happen. Oh yeah. I think ColourPop does pressed glitters the best out of anybody. Oh yes. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, yes! It's so awesome. Oh my god. It's so good. Now that is what I'm talking about. Glitter just fixes everything because I was like really not loving what I was doing before. I wasn't loving it. But this I do like. This I will say I do like. So I'm going to take a little bit of that matte blue shade uh, irrevocably and just kind of go over some spots really quick but that's pretty much the eye look i feel like i should actually just stop there as far as uh as far as that because i i was gonna maybe go in with bella on the outer corner but honestly i think that that's this is probably a good place to to stop and then i am gonna go in again with this unconditionally shade and just kind of pop that over in the outer crease. Actually, I kind of like the unconditionally shade once it's, you know, now that I've done this whole look. But all right, yeah, I think that looks pretty good.
I'm pretty happy with that. That looks really pretty. I might do some on the bottom lash line. I'm not sure. Sometimes when I do blue looks, I don't like to overload the bottom lash line. I just kind of like to leave it bare. So I'm going to do my eyeliner first. So I'm going to find, where's that black one? Let me find the black, the black glittery I think is the only way to go. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this coven, and I think I could try to wing it myself. All right, I'll try to wing it myself, here we go. But this is that black glittery. I'm not great with using these, I'm just gonna be honest. Okay, I'm not. Oh god. Okay, I'll come back in a second. My camera's about to die, but that's the first wing. Pretty good. All right, so I just did some mascara. So I just did this Tartlet tubing mascara. I just opened a brand new one. It feels good. But yeah, this is how the liner came out. So I did have to do two coats of the liner because it was kind of like not as dark as I wanted it to be, but I do think it's pretty. I don't really see like a ton of the glitter. It just kind of looks like black liner. But anyway, I'm gonna put some of this shade right here called Ice Cold in my inner corner. So I'm just gonna take some of that. It's kind of like a duochrome, sort of, like it's got gold. Oh, but it's not showing up. Yeah, some of these shades are kind of strange the way they're behaving. I don't know if it's maybe the brushes I'm using, but you can't really see that too well. So don't know what's going on with that. Oh well. All right. So I'm gonna take my lip color off because I kind of got um, foundation on it, and I need my lips to be a little bit more red. So I'm just using a makeup wipe. It's actually a ColourPop makeup wipe. <laughs> Very on brand. I think this looks really pretty though. Like this, this look. But okay. So I feel like I should use this blue. Because I feel like when else am I going to really use it? I mean, there is sort of a blue tint to it, but yeah, I think I'll try to use this. I mean, I really kind of want to use Bella now because it... Ooh, wait, should I use the Bella one? Bells, sorry, excuse me. Oh, shoot, I feel like I should just use blue. Hold on. I really like these lip oils, I'm not going to lie. It definitely gives like a little bit of a blue tint to it, which I think is pretty. This is pretty much the look, but I think it came out cute. I mean, I love, I love, love, love the glitter. Like the glitters are, when I saw that there were glitter in here, I, I just was like amazed. I mean, Edward is gonna be so cool to use too. So when I look at this, it tells a story. Like they obviously put shades in here to be used with other shades. So like. For example, if you want to do like a green makeup look, you'll use this shade, you'll use this shade, you'll use this shade, right? And you could probably use some of this as well. And then um, if you want to do kind of a neutral look, you use this shade, this shade, um, you can, you know, maybe do some of this, you could do some of this or this. So there's kind of a, a path for you, like a clear path in my opinion. Like if you want to do blue, start here, go here, here here so there's stuff that goes together you know and it makes sense there's nothing in here where i'm like oh this wouldn't be able to go with any other shades which i like especially like this shade right here prom night i think that's going to be pretty like especially for like a very neutral look but you could do neutral and then you could do kind of like what i did which is not neutral at all but you know looks really cute this is probably one of my more favorite blue looks that i've actually done and it was really easy because i didn't really have to use um, that many shades either. I really used one, two, three, four, four shades. And I really probably didn't even need to use the Collins shade, but I kind of wanted a base for it. So anyway, the only thing I have left to use is the <laughs> the body oil. So I guess I might as well get on with it here. I still, my, the lid is still leaking on mine. Oh God, it just like squirted out everywhere. Yeah, I gotta finish this look off obviously. So, uh, you see anything? Let me know if you want me to do another makeup tutorial. Like, I definitely want to do one with, like, the greens, for sure. That would be really pretty. And then I also want to do one, like, a new, just kind of a neutral one. And try to use also the liners. I really, really, really want to use the liner, the, the Forever liner. Oh my god, the green. Oh, 
I have to use this. Because this to me is the prettiest one. So yeah, I definitely want to use that one because that is just so insane. But yeah, so far, I mean, so far I think it's pretty good. And I really like the look that I came up with and I think it looks really pretty. So that's it for today. Um, I gotta go edit this video and get it up really quick. And then I have a hair appointment later, so I'm gonna continue to vlog. Uh, for that as well but I hope you've enjoyed the video and let me know what you think if you've got also got the collection what do you think about the collection let me know so anyway bye